With the rise of COVID-19, Israeli cyber weapons manufacturer NSO Group launched a contact tracing software named Fleming. NSO claims that Fleming is designed to track the location and movement of mobile phones without collecting personal data. Promoted by former Defense Minister Naftali Bennett, NSO has since demonstrated Fleming to a dozen health ministries, including the U.S. health authorities, as part of a marketing push aimed at Western governments. NSO is better known for Pegasus, a malware reportedly used to surveil the mobile phones of prominent human rights defenders, opposition figures, religious leaders, dissidents, and journalists, several of whom are our close collaborators in at least 45 countries across the globe. Last spring, a cybersecurity researcher, Bob Diachenko, discovered an unprotected Fleming database belonging to NSO. Denying that this was a security oversight, NSO stated that the Fleming demo is not based on real and genuine data. The demo is rather an illustration of public obfuscated data. It does not contain any personal identifying information. NSO also denied acquiring the location data from a data broker. Forensic Architecture received a sample of the exposed database. There are over 140,000 data points pertaining to almost 32,000 people, or targets, as labeled by NSO. Each data line or target ID included geographical coordinates and time attributes. We sought to establish whether NSO statements are truthful or whether this is real personal data belonging to unsuspecting civilians. The exposed data included location information from Rwanda, Israel, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain, all countries in which NSO's Pegasus spyware was reportedly sold. We plotted the data in our open source software time map, which can make visible patterns and rhythms in space and time. Within their individual countries, the sample of locations we received were largely concentrated in major cities and urban areas. We measured the distance between points in time and space for individual targets to examine their movements and whether the distance traveled is plausible within the indicated time. Once plotted in space, multiple target movements also revealed seemingly strange patterns, such as this straight line and these plots in the sea. Both a mobile network security expert and a senior cybersecurity expert separately confirmed that the geographical patterns and the temporal rhythms we identified, including the apparent outliers, are closely consistent with real mobile phone data. Studies show that with the amount of data points exposed, the identity of a person could be uniquely identified. If indeed this is real data, then NSO has violated the privacy of more than 30,000 unsuspecting individuals. This is troubling because, as a surveillance company with advanced cyber weapons software, reportedly used to target prominent human rights figures, NSO likely has access to additional private details from infected user devices, raising serious ethical, political, and data security concerns.